A lot of people ask, hey, how do you make something circular or round from a low poly surface? Okay, check out my subdivision surface modifier. First of all, um, anytime you're making something round, always go for octagons. No need to make it more detailed than an octagon because you got your subdivision surface modifier that's gonna turn any octagon into a perfect circle eventually. All right, let me start over from scratch here. Of course, we are starting with a default cube, and I always start with something called the gift wrap method, okay? I call this the gift wrap method. All I'm doing is hitting Control R, and I put two subdivisions perpendicular to each other, and I call it the gift wrap method because these edges that I inserted kind of makes this cube look like a gift that's been wrapped, okay? So it's the gift wrap method, and just selecting these top faces, and I will hit the letter I to inset and my purpose here really is to select four vertex points here and then when I scale them down I can get an octagon okay you guys might also know that if you if you select a bunch of vertex points and you hit shift alt s you can force it into a circle okay shift alt s and then you just move your mouse and you can force it into a circle anyway that's another way to do it now from here, we've got the ability to extrude a cylinder. Okay, what did I do um, to apply the subdivisions? Well, you got to make sure that you have three edges. Okay, uh, I'll show you what I mean here, three edges. Notice how I just put three edges really close together. That's how you maintain a sharp corner okay now that I have three edges when I add a subdivision surface modifier it will retain that sharp corner um, the other areas got averaged out and that's why they're curvy but if I start to just add more subdivisions that's going to give me the necessary detail to maintain corners what about this cube area Okay, I want to maintain the harsh edges of the cube area. Well, a few different ways to do it. I'm just going to show you a, a sloppy way to do it. I'm going to hit K for knife tool, and I'm going to make a cut right through it. In order to snap to like perpendicular angles, I'm going to hit Z. And then in order to actually cut through multiple surfaces like a laser, I'm going to hit the letter C, and then confirm, click, confirm the cut with Enter. All right, let's do it on this side as well. Click, all right. I could try to eyeball it, but I'm gonna hit Z instead to make sure that it's locked to a perpendicular angle. I'm gonna hit C to cut all the way through, confirm with click, and then enter to confirm. Let's orbit to a different angle and do the same thing. Z, C, click, enter. Knife tool with K, click, Z, C, click, enter. And that was pretty rough, but it gives me the subdivisions I need. I also need to add a little bit of detail on top, bottom, and let's check the very bottom. Looks good. Check it out, guys. Three edges everywhere where I need it to maintain a sharp corner. The edges around the cylinder stay singular. And there you have it.